what is up everybody and welcome to the next episode in getting our launch box rocket launcher set up to the max and in today's episode we've got something a little bit different we're going to be looking at creating custom wheel arts the reason being as we're getting into more the rarer kind of systems and the more difficult systems to set up we're actually getting less and less artwork available to us so in terms of the wheel art it's something that we can actually make ourselves or at least make it more uniformed um, this will work with pretty much any front end that has uh, or uses wheel art and as long as it's named correctly so hyperspin tends to use a no intro naming um, launchbox tends to have a kind of percentage uh, where it can w um, match it through a percentage of that so what we're going to do to get started is we're going to click on the description below with the link and you will take to my mega website where you download this folder here you will end up with these two files here what we're going to do then is we're going to do this because there's various ways we can actually do this and we're going to look at how we're going to make a uh, uniformed artwork first so what I've got here is a collection of master system uh, wheel arts um, the thing that I have with this is when they're going kind of round or up or down or left and right or whatever they're doing, um, when the different sizes, uh, like there, you saw the T2, the different sizes, it can look a little bit messy. So we're going to try and tidy that up slightly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Auto Custom. We're going to go and choose a background. Now it's Master System, so I can have a look for a Master System one. There's nearly 200. Want that one? Uh, scroll down. I think there's another one. Seeker mass system. Yeah, we'll try that one. Okay, border. You can choose a border then. I think I might go with the steel logos don't worry about the logos gloss i don't like the gloss on it so we'll take that off wheels then we're going to uh, navigate to where our logos are so you do need the logos in png format if you're using launchbox it pulls it down for you on 90 percent of the systems as i say when it's different sizes it can cause problems okay there we go so you can, if you're not happy with it, then you obviously you can just go back and change it. There's a whole range of them. Different ones for different uh, borders. Okay, so we'll go back to the one I had. Uh, system. Try that one. Okay then what we're going to do is we can't we're going to resize these if it's widescreen because at the moment these are going to come out in a kind of a four by three kind of format so we will resize them using this rather than in here what we're then going to do is we're going to go to save list okay once we're happy with whatever we've got again if you want to add logos you can add the logos in okay and you can have a mess around with that. You can change the position here. I don't particularly like that, so I'm not going to have it. Okay. Then what we're going to do is I've just created a new folder here. I'm going to save list. We're going to select that new folder and we'll click OK. That will then take some time to process. Okay, and then we end up with wheel art and we can flick through them. Okay, now this is in wide, uh, in 4x3 standard definition kind of format. So what we want to do is we're going to open up bulk image manager. We're going to go to images and desktop. As you can see, I've been messing around before. Just control A all of those open. We're just going to create a new folder. And call this widescreen okay and the width wants to be 300 175 I believe so that's all I've done we'll just select that folder so we've got our original folder that we've just created those logos in this one here we've then gone to the folder here 
and then we're going to resize it here so 300 by 175 is what we want it to be to be the widescreen then we'll click save there we go and as you can see now they're perfect for a widescreen system if you've got a cab on 4x3 then obviously the first ones are okay that's fine okay so what we're going to look at next is what happens if we don't have this kind of lovely wheel art that other people have uh, created we're going to create our own um, it's very simple all we're going to do is go to a website i've gone to cool text i'm sure and i know there are plenty of websites like this so you can choose the one that you want um, what all you do is choose the font like supernova type in uh, what you want to type in okay create it and then download I've already done one in fantasy which is there okay then what we're going to do is go to our auto uh, art tools auto custom okay we'll go to our wheel first and then we'll add so example 2 click OK there's me so now all I need to do is choose a background that I like and as I say there's nearly 200 so quite like that one I don't like the gloss never have the gloss on okay and border I want to change the border so there's a whole range of different borders you can choose these ones here will relate to these backgrounds I think it's J there okay so if you want to use those backgrounds I don't particularly like them um, I tend to go with the THQ to THK just change the background we'll have it in straight black okay then we can uh, save it We'll make a new folder in desktop. Okay. And there is my personalized logo. Okay, so the last method or uh, way of doing this that I want to show you is what happens if you've got the PNG or if you have to create your one yourself and you've got a background image that you want to use. Now I've got a 1080p JPEG here um, and I've got uh, just a normal uh, logo for Horizon Zero Dawn. Great game by the way. Um, one of my games of the year if, if I'm honest about it. What we're going to do first off is we're going to resize this to fit this now if you've got Photoshop dead easy but if you haven't then this this can help you out here the problem that you have is that most of these want rounded edges and we're not going to be able to get that so we're going to try and mask it with the border when we come to do it um, as you can see here look the rounded edges um, so you can use other art programs but you can actually mask it using the border so first off what we want to do is we want to go to images and we want to go to where our images now it's a JPEG don't forget I'm going to create a new folder put it there new folder 3 okay uh, I want it to be a PNG and I want it to be 400 by 175 okay then I'm gonna start this should then now be that kind of shape again we haven't got the rounded edges but we can hide that that's not a problem this is for more people that don't have access to decent image editor uh, and it works just as well we're gonna go to art tools resources backgrounds and all I've done is going to copy that background in okay then I'm going to open it up I'm going to select it I forgot what I called it that one there I would give it a better name than what I've given it I'm going to change the width down and down and down there we go so I've now got it hidden wheel 
I'm then going to add, so it's in my example 3. There we go. So I've now created that. All I need to do is save it. And I can save it. I'll make a new folder. And I'll save that there. So now we've got a fantastically crafted, dead easy to do, takes no time at all, uh, little wheel art there. Uh, for a game obviously if you've got widescreen you can then go into bulk image editor and change it down to 300 by 175 to make it fit into a screen better launchbox doesn't seem to have that problem hyperspin certainly does but i think that's it from me so hopefully uh i've given you some uh more work shall we say to crack on with um, and to get your launchbox hyperspin Game EX or whatever it might be that uses uh, custom wheel art images looking a little bit better. So that's it from me. If you like this video or used any of the downloads, uh, then please like and subscribe. If you didn't, then don't. If you really, really like this video or any of my videos, you can uh, donate to me. There is a PayPal button on the top of my banner on my main page or there is a PayPal uh, me link in the description below. But until next time, I'll see you soon.